Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Okay, uh, this is again the continuation series in my uh, Oracle grid infrastructure installation and the Oracle rack database uh, configuration and as well as you know, rack uh, database creation. So in my previous uh, uh, session, so I already covered Oracle virtual work setup and uh, you know, installing wheels, all this wheel five, six, seven and eight and also creating these users and directories and uh, the DNS naming configuration and uh, you know cloning wheel VM machine and creating a shared disk and also we have seen this configuration of Oracle ASM so now uh, we will do the run cluffy pre-check and uh, and we'll start with the installation of uh, Oracle 12c and then 18c and 19c so let's start with these uh, the run cluffy pre-checks I already opened two of uh, my two, both nodes node 1 and node 2 so i will start with this uh, run cluffy uh, pre checks so before i get started with this uh, today's session if you are new to my channel always you can go back to youtube and search for malik 34 and then please do subscribe if you like my videos you can always share like and comment and if you missed out my previous videos you can always go back to my youtube channel and you can refer it always so you can go to my uh, youtube channel malik 34 and then you know you, you can go to particular playlist uh, this this particular rack installation and setup uh, the the gi installation and configuration with rack so i have a separate playlist for that and uh, you know all the videos i have uploaded here you can uh, follow all this uh, uh, videos i have uh, ordered in a, in a sequential manner here you can refer these videos in this sequence so you will uh, easily understand so uh, asm library and uh, asm grid disk creation is done so we will uh, start with the uh, you know uh, the rack prechecks now so let's start with the node 1 node 2 If you can do Oracle ASM list disks, you can see data one, data two, data three, reco one, reco two, reco three. So all data and record disks are created here. And similarly, if I go to node two, Oracle ASM list disks, you can see again data one, data two, data three, reco one, reco two, reco three. So all the disks are configured now. So let's start with the the grid infrastructure installation. Uh, with the run cluffy pre-check so I have ID uh, grid the user already created ID Oracle already user created here and similarly ID grid is created here ID Oracle also created here okay so let's check the directories u01 app okay 12 to okay nothing is there so PWD similarly if I check it on node 1 CD U01 app 12.2. Okay, nothing is here. So I will do one thing. I will log in with the grid user and I'll create directory called MKDIR grid. So CD inside grid. So this is my uh, oh, sorry. So I was in the in the home location. I had to go to U01 app 12.2 and MKDIR grid. CD grid and this is my grid location user and app 12201 grid so similarly on uh, remote node node 2 also I will create grid CD user and app 122 grid uh, thing is there MKDIR grid right so go inside uh, grid so this is my grid home so let me copy to the notepad GI home and let me mount the softwares mount hyphen t v box sf slash softwares so, uh, it is going to be the shared directory is softwares and i'm mounting it in my software directory softwares software right so right so it is mounted now you can see a software directory is mounted now so i'll go inside softwares and uh, i can see this tool two and i can see grid okay this is my grid uh, the zip file so i'm going to unzip this uh, zip file directly into my uh, the grid home the grid home is uh, this one right the command is uh, unzip 
uh, this particular patch hyphen D and inside this directory. Right, you can see it is uh, started unzipping. Let me take one more terminal. Cd slash u01 app troll to grid. And you can see all the the files are started coming here. Let it unzip and then we'll start with the run cluffy pre-check. And meantime, you can prepare the run cluffy pre-check command. So this is a command. Run cluffy and uh, let me get the host name. So this is my host name. This is my, I can give short name also and uh, the full name also both are fine. Node one and node one and node two. The command is simple, run cluffy.sh stage hyphen pre CRS install hyphen n that is a node name node one and node two hyphen verbose. Let's see whether uh, unzip, okay unzip still is happening. Okay, so as you can see here, like unzip is finished here. Um, and then if I can go back to my uh, home directory, so the grid home directory and check it out. And all the, the grid, uh, the grid uh, you know, the, the zip file is unzipped into my this uh, grid home directory and then all the binaries or libraries are came here. And let's see if I can do all these files came here. So I'll just quickly change the ownership for this grid folder ch1 hyphen r grid and i'll go with the grid so if i go inside grid now if i do ls hyphen l you can see all owned by grid now so now what i'll do uh, quickly i'll run the run cluffy pre-check so x host plus and su grid and before that, if I can check my uh, name resolution here, clear cat slash etc hosts. And uh, as I already explained in my previous session, node one, node two, these are the public IPs. And uh, these are the VIPs, the private IPs, node one private IP, node one private IP. And these are my uh, VI virtual IPs and these are my scan IPs. If I can do IF config, you can see all these things here. And similarly, you can see Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1, and Ethernet 2. Similarly, on Node 2 also, if I can do cat slash etc hosts, so public IP, private IP, virtual IP, and the scan IPs. And if I can do IF config, I can see all this Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, and Ethernet 3. So if I can do NS lookup for my scan, NS lookup. I'm able to get my, uh, you know, NS lookup output here. Okay, similarly, if I go to node one and uh, do NS lookup hosts, so this is my scan, NS lookup. Yep, name resolution is happening. And if I can do for the node two, NS lookup, node two also is happening. And if I can do for node one, node one is also happening so my uh, setup is done here so i already logged into grid here and i'll go u01 app 12.2 grid okay so if i do ll star dot uh, sh you can see here grid setup root dot sh root upgrade dot sh and uh, run cluffy dot sh so we will do the run cluffy check now and if you can do ping of uh, your node 2, ping node 2, sorry, ping node 2, node 2 you are able to ping and if you can do SSH node 2 and the passwordless connection, SSH connection already established. So if you don't know all this, uh, it's already covered in my uh, previous lecture. Uh, you can always refer it in my YouTube channel. Okay, so now we will do this run cluffy pre-check. The command is run cluffy hyphen stage free CRS install node one, node two, and verbose. Which will take a few minutes. So let it run and uh, we will check it out. 
the the default oracle inventory group could not be determined okay this one we can fix it out uh, you know you can fix it out uh, by uh, editing your uh, slash etc uh what a inventory sorry what a nst dot loc uh what a nst dot loc that we can we can fix it out anyway let it run so it's running now here and since this is my lab environment so the couple of uh, network check it will fail and uh, you know uh, those those checks can be ignored i will let you know like i will update you what are those uh, fail checks but in the real time when you are working so you should be very careful uh, you know before you ignore any of the fail checks and proceed with the further grid infrastructure inflation okay so it got completed and it gave me couple of failed checks here uh, you can go back here okay the pre check for the cluster service setup was unsuccessful on all the nodes so you can see here uh, the node 2 and node on both uh, the memory it says it should be 8 gb memory i can ignore not an issue and then uh, the package this this is a uh, rpm we need to install so that package failed on both the nodes i will install that package now uh you can just think of one is memory so that i can ignore it and this package i will install it right now and the verify node connectivity so node connectivity this ip is i am not going to use it anymore in my cluster setup so these are extra interface i have in my node node 1 and node 2 so i'm going to ignore this fail check because this is no way uh, comes into picture in my cluster where setup so you can ignore this uh, you know the network fail check ntp i am going to ignore because if you are using ntp for your time synchronization you have to take care of this one if you are using uh, your uh, uh, you know um, uh, ctss the cluster time synchronization service and then you can ignore this ntp and this uh, resolve dot conf integrity so i will just quickly check that one and uh, okay that's it so first quickly check that etc result.conf etc result.conf okay this is pointing to this one and quickly i'll take a ssh session on to node 2 here because i don't want to switch between the servers okay so cat slash etc result.conf okay so here the the result.conf is not matching i just copy it i have a backup file here from the node one backup/etc/result.conf if you can do cat now so it is now same as node one so that's fine now and once again i can verify etc host that uh, ns lookup ns lookup yeah working fine so one issue is resolved that uh, integrity check is done now and the this network ping this uh, network i'm not i said like this 15 and 16 this ip i'm not using so i can ignore this one and this run cluffy check right so run cluffy check i can do it here uh, let me go back here uh, i have my grid location here and inside that there is a cv cv and there is a rpm and this is a particular directory where to go user and app 12 to grid and cv and rpm this is the rpm you need to install rpm my fun ivh okay node 1 it is installed i'll just copy this one to node 2 under temp directory right so i will just uh, go to node 2 could not resolve host name okay who is missing o e l okay so go inside temp and this is the rpm rpm hyphen i v h so ivh is for installation if you use u here uvh that's a upgradation if already rpm is there you want to upgrade it you can use uvh 
right so rpm is installed so this is about uh, this fail check rpm is installed and this memory we can ignore it and there's a one more uh, one more fail check what is that uh, oh that 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 is at the beginning uh, okay so i cannot uh, find that one uh my inventory uh, grid hook, inventory uh, group location right so for that i should have this vari inventory file here so i don't have vari inventory file here so that's why you know oh, it is throwing that error so let me add vari inventory file here in a minute okay so this is what the content it look like it is see vara inst.loc this is a file and it should be containing my inventory location as well as uh, you know the inventory group that should be o install so i'm just going to create this particular uh, file on both the nodes uh, as a root user okay i'm on node 2 now let me create a node 2 and then i'll go back to node 1 okay that's done and i can give full permission right so i will go to node 1 now vi and i'll add the same content ch mode 77 etc or inst okay and if i do cat that one now okay this is a file let me verify whether this file is this directory is there or not if not we need to create that particular directory so that is not there so u01 app so that is not there so i will create that directory m k d i r okay so let me give full permission h177 for our inventory okay that is done so let me go to node 1 and uh, sorry let me go to node 2 and uh, go inside this one and create the directory mkdir for our inventory and give the full permission fine so that's done now let me rerun that run clf check now this time only the two fail check should come one is for uh, the memory and the other one is for uh, the the two ips the 15 and 16 now you can see initial that fail check used to come right that that did not come right now you can see here right so verifying physical memory it started with this one so that the group a fail check was came right that that not has populated now so now it's going on okay done so let's verify it now the first fail check is about memory i can ignore it and the second fail check is as i said it is for uh, connectivity of this ip is 15 19 so these ips as i said no way related to my cluster where setup i can ignore safely i can ignore these and the third one is this ntp ntp as I, as i said like ntp also i'm going to ignore because i'm not going to use ntp i'm going to use ctssd cluster time synchronization service so that's it by ignoring all that my run clef is uh, successful so that concludes about the pre rack uh, you know uh, pre check setup Okay, so with this, uh, you know, I'm going to stop this session here. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start this uh, grid installation and uh, configuration, and after that, uh, you know, we will start with the the React database configuration on top of that uh, cluster bear. So, thank you, guys.